Hey, what's up everyone this is apple vibes back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to use your iphone like a pro using haptic touch i bet there is at least one haptic touch feature in this video you probably didn't know about so stick with me all the way to the very end and also if you have not subscribed to this channel let's make it to 100 subscribers with this video so don't forget to subscribe and without further ado let's dive in shall we okay this may sound weird but for some of you who don't know what is haptic touch well it is simply long pressing on the screen so when i'm long pressing you can see all the options have popped up so whenever I'm showing any features, I'm simply long pressing on the screen. So starting up with clearing messages, this is the sweetest one. Clearing messages could be annoying sometimes, but not anymore. All you have to do is go to the notification center or even if you're on the lock screen, you can do it directly from there. And you can see the X icon here, right? So if you want to clear the messages, you have to keep on clicking on this X icons again and again till all the messages have been cleared on your iPhone, but not anymore. All you have to do is haptic touch, long press on this X icon and very simply, very conveniently, it will give you this option to clear all notifications. Just go ahead and click on that and voila, all the notifications have gone on your iPhone. Let's go to settings for this feature and we'll go somewhere in settings anywhere uh, really so i'll go to accessibility then touch and what we'll choose here is assistive touch and customize top level menu so you can see i'm deep down in settings right now and if i want to go to the main menu again i'll have to swipe like a thousand times back again and again till i reach the main menu of settings like this again and again i'll have to go back but with haptic touch it becomes very easy because all you have to do is force touch is long press on the back on the top and it will show you all the menus just drag wherever you want just drag your finger to touch or accessibility or settings and we'll go to the main menu here and very simply directly you are back to the home menu settings on your iphone you might know that you can haptic touch on any app and quick access something within the app uh, you knew that right if you don't know simply just haptic touch just long press on any apps and it will show the available options like in instagram the options available for me is camera new post new activity likewise it will be different for different apps so you can go ahead and play with it but in ios 14 home screens tend to be empty and apps are now in the library so you don't have all the apps on the home screen so if you want to 3d touch so now you can go to the app library and 3d touch and use the app from there it will show all the features available but the better part is you can go to the spotlight and search for the app so for example i'll search for instagram here and very conveniently and very simply very sweetly if i 3d touch haptic touch on this from here as well it will show me all the options i can drag my finger wherever i want on the chat new activity post camera and it will take me to that menu in the instagram app the next feature is preview so in safari or in photos to get a preview of a website or a video just haptic touch like we'll go to safari here and in safari i've searched for ios 14 features but before entering in this website i just want to check what is there in this website i just want to know a preview of the website so all you have to do is haptic touch just long press on that website and you can see it will give you a preview of what is there in that website and with that it will also give you these options which are great options to open it in new tab or download link file add to reading list copy share so these are very convenient options and you don't even have to go to the website to get this option so this this is what we get in safari now in photos if i want to preview a video before opening that video or a photo all i have to do is just have to touch just long press on that video and it will play that video for me and also give me the options to share or add it to favorites or show in all photos 
and this can also be done with any photos on your photos app on your iphone so this is a pretty handy and a sweet feature to use in your daily life on your iphone i think probably uh, not all of you will know this feature so listen to this very carefully and i'll also be showing you one more feature within this feature so in order to do that we'll go to app store in an app store earlier you had an option to go to updates at the bottom with today games and apps you had also an option to go to updates but now you have to click on the icon on the top to go to updates and check your updates on your iphone but with haptic touch what you can do is you can search for app store in the live app library or in the spotlight and haptic touch on that and very conveniently you can choose updates and you'll directly go to the updates page on your app store so we'll update all the apps here so i'll update all these apps i'll update so now if i wanted one of these apps to update first i can't choose it from here so what if i wanted to play among us very urgently and i wanted this app to update first so all i have to do is find this app in the app library or even the spotlight and just 3d touch just haptic touch on that and here it will give me an option to prioritize download so if i click on that first thing it will do is it will update this app first and then move on to the next app so this can be very handy and very useful at some time okay, the next one is control center so in control center you can access a lot more than it is visible to the eyes so haptic touch and play around and you can find all the features i'll just show you the main feature here you can see this block where you can see Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Just haptic touch on that and you can enable airdrop and personal hotspot directly from here. And the best part is after enabling Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, just haptic touch on one of them like on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and I can connect to the device I want to connect my phone with directly from the control center. And other features are like camera. You can see the camera presets if you haptic touch on the camera or if you haptic touch on the timer, you can set it for two hours or one hour, whatever you want to touch, set it to and uh, if you want to haptic touch on the calculator you can copy the last result directly from here so you can play around and you can see all the features are, which are available on the control center and use it in your daily life on your iPhone this is a very convenient feature checking the preview of a message or replying directly from the lock screen is just a haptic touch away all you have to do is haptic touch on an email or message and you'll get your options you can see the preview of that email you can archive it you can reply it and if you have a message i don't have any messages currently you can preview that message and the best part is you can text you can reply directly to that message from the lock screen on your iphone this is a very simple feature but yet it could be very useful because if you do have a lot of pages on the home screen well then you can switch between them quickly by haptic touching the dots at the bottom of the screen so you can see the dots here and you can see i have many pages also so if i want to go to the last page directly all i have to do is haptic touch on the dots here to the right or left so i'll have to touch like this and quickly I'll switch between pages so I can do it very fast and from first page I can go very fast and very conveniently to the last page and to the first page back. So this can be very useful if you have a lot of pages on your home screen on your iPhone. This is the last and a bonus tip for you guys. So I'll have to touch on an app here so you can see I'm have to touching on YouTube and it is taking some time to showing me that options which are available for that app but what if i wanted to make it fast because this is making my work slower than faster so all i have to do is go to settings and after going to settings you can go to accessibility in accessibility you will find touch under touch you can find haptic touch and under haptic touch you have two options to choose between slow or fast of course obviously everyone are going to choose fast so just choose the faster option and you are good to go so now if you haptic touch on any app the response will be much much faster than before so iphone is a beast device really so using it to its true potential could do wonders and i will be coming up with more videos like like pro videos soon on my channel so don't forget to subscribe to the channel also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the bell icon to be notified as well and also let me know in the comments do you use your iphone like a pro or you are going to start using your iphone like a pro from today onwards thanks for watching this video my name is mukaddal this is apple vibes take care and i will see you in the next video